All right, so good evening, everyone. You have decided to come to the blueprint for launching your young living business. And it's really, really great because you guys are gonna be trained by three leaders. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm you know, an awesome leader, but I will say that I have two other awesome leaders on here with me tonight. So my name is Christina Campbell. I've been with Young Living for 21 years. Been around for a while, been around the block, know the business, have built a very successful business, but I want to introduce Dana Christensen. Dana? Thank you, Chris. I am Dana Christensen. I have been with Young Living since 2006, so currently 14 years. Um, I've been interested in natural health and studying natural health for 25 years, and I have built a successful business with Young Living, and it's been the most rewarding thing in my entire life, um, right after being a mom and wife. So <laughs> I'm so glad to be here and glad that you guys are all joining us to learn how you can do the same. And I'm going to pass it on to Sandy Roush. Thanks, Dana. Good evening, everybody. I'm Sandy Roush. I am from the St. Louis metro area, actually Waterloo, Illinois. And I am so grateful to be here tonight with my two buds. And, and I have to tell you that um, we have really have a very synergistic, very amazing relationship, Christina, Dana, and I. Uh, you're talking to three people that truly are in. Every morning, we meet at 9.15, every morning, Monday through Friday, and we don't miss. It's so amazing to work with people that are showing up and ha have, have built their own business that I can, I relate to the things that they're going through. And I know you're going to relate to some of the things that we have to share with you tonight. Um, launching a young living business is not easy, folks. And a lot of people think that once you become a member, um, I want to start getting my oils paid for. And that is a wonderful decision to make, by the way. But you really need to do your homework at that point. What do you need to do to start building your business? And that's what we hope to share with you tonight. So it takes a lot of the fear and a lot of the, the, uh, we've been through it, folks. We can kind of guide you through some of the humps and the bumps and, and the valleys that happen as you're building a business. But there's so much amazing people that, so many amazing people that you're gonna meet. And trust me, this is one of the best compensation plans in, in out of everybody in the multi-level marketing industry out there. So we are so excited tonight to give you some information that hopefully you can jot down notes. And we're gonna be here for you every Thursday night. And uh, next, we, we won't be finishing, where we end tonight is where we're gonna start next Thursday, P.S. So I'm gonna turn it over to Christina right now and we'll tell you a little bit more about how I started my business in a little bit. Christina? Okay, thank you, Sandy. Dan, uh, um, I want you to write this, um, this thought down, this quotation down by Price Pritchard. We're gonna talk about some resources later on in our, um, in our training tonight. Price Pritchard has a really, really great resource called U Squared. And so this is taken from that. If you doubt something, doubt your limits. Yeah, she, uh, Dana's showing you the book U Squared. Center it a little bit more over to, there you go. Yeah, there it is. If you can see that on the, on the screen with the ladies talking, that's U Squared. Mm -hmm. If you doubt something, doubt mm -hmm. your limits. We are un limited we have unlimited potential and these are some of the things that we want to teach you if you don't already know or we want to encourage you to be thinking about these subjects if you already know because the way that we change the way that we become better the way that we become successful is by changing our habits and our attitudes, that's the magic word, our attitudes to become better so that we can be better for others. So we're first gonna hit 
uh, the question, what is your why? And Dana, I know you're going to cover this a little bit, and then maybe we're going to add some, some things. So take it away, Dana. All right. Well, the first question you should ask yourself when you want to start a new adventure is a why. Why is it interesting me, to me? Why will it help me? Why is it important to me? And why do I desire something different? Um, this why is more important than any how or what or who, because without a passion for what you're doing, every little road bump is going to feel like a mountain and throwing in the towel is going to be really tempting on a daily basis. Um, Cause there, I'm telling you, it's, it's not a, just a, like an air that you're going to walk down. Um, before you start dreaming and set some goals, um, I want to share the possibilities with you. So there's an income disclosure statement. And I don't know if it, we have a slide for that, but we'll send you a, definitely have a link to it. But the income disclosure statement, there you go. I mean, look at this and know that these are real numbers. Um, I'm currently at the rank of gold and I am almost flat. So I'm in between those two. And it, everybody's different in how they, um, and how they show up with their income because it depends on how many leaders that you have under you or on your team. Nobody's under anybody. <laughs> Mary taught us that at convention Saturday and um, we're all together. Um, but the nice thing is, is that somebody can come in on my team and earn more than me right away. So it's really cool. It's really cool how it's set up. But the why, um, it was so interesting me, to me to start with Young Living because I was looking, I had so many problems. Um, my husband had, was sick all the time. Like he had this pain all the time and I couldn't figure out how to help him. And so it was important for me, health was right up there on the list of my things. So it was interesting to me to learn about different oh. things I could do. Um, yeah, so that's my why was to help my family avoid going to the doctors because my father-in-law and my dad both died 16 weeks apart in 1995 and they both had cancer. So for me, learning how to be of uh, help my family and friends to stay well and to avoid getting into that situation was very, very important. So I'll pass it on and um, on to Sandy, if you have anything to add to that. Um, yeah, I, I would love to share my why. I, my why actually started probably, I've been in Young Living now 13 years. And at that time, I was still um, in, working my 60 hour, 55, 60 hour a week job as an executive for the Postal Service. And it was quite stressful for me. And I found myself very tight in the neck with pain in my back and shoulders. And so I had this wonderful friend who was a massage therapist that was giving me a, a massage about every two weeks and introduced me to Valor. And I have to say that that first massage with Valor was life-changing. It just basically washed all that stress out of my neck, out of my back. And I came off that massage table feeling like a new person. And I did not know what she had done to me. And, she, and it was Verna, Verna Hopkins, by the way. And she halfway giggled about how giddy I was when I got off the table. But it was truly my first experience with Young Living and it was life changing. And I had to have whatever she used on me. And it was really how I got into Young Living. But my why, so my whys in the beginning were quite physical. It wasn't, and emotional too, because I needed stress relief. So it was all about me in the beginning. I needed help with my stress. I needed help with my pain. And I wanted to know more about what these oils could do. So Verna became my upline and my, my, my mentor and my trainer. And so I learned so much about what these oils could do that, as I was using them, I felt physical, not only physical relief, but mental relief, mental stress relief. And all of those things work together. 
And at the time, I was still being very selfish about the whole thing. I didn't want anything to do with the business. It was all about me and fixing me and helping me. And as I started to continue to use the oils, some of the people at work were asking me what I was doing because they could see changes in me. And they could smell my office too and wanted to know what beautiful aromas were coming out of my office. So um, as the leader and team leader of that group, I had to um, basically tell them under the table what I was doing and I couldn't sell any oils to them because that was pretty much, um, it, it was not something I could do as their, as their boss. So I, it really awakened me to how it, I needed to share what I was doing because there's people out there that truly need what we have to offer in Young Living. And so all of the, several people that kept telling me, Sandy, you just need to start sharing and make a business out of this. I did it. I started, I made the decision that yes, I'm gonna start sharing and I'm going to have a team someday when I retire because I don't wanna work for anybody else anymore. I want to be my own boss. Yeah. So that's how I got started. And it, my why now really is much more than it used to be. It's not about me anymore. It's about my family. It's about my friends. It's about people I don't even know that I want to serve and I want to help. My why financially is to have a nice, um, put my grandsons through college. First of all, I want to be able to put my grandsons through college. I want to be able to to support as many people in the D. Gary Young Foundation as I possibly can. I want to be able to support things in my, in my town here and at my church to a greater extent than I am right now. It's all about in service. So my why is so much bigger than I can ever possibly imagine and it's, it's actually become a dream. So I'm going to just leave it there and I'm going to turn it over to Christina because she's got an amazing why as well. Well, and it's interesting, um, Sandy, when you talk about how your why has changed so dramatically, because I really believe that that is exactly what happens once you accept that maybe this is a calling for you. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is, I don't know, but you wake up in the morning and you have this burning desire and it didn't start that way. It didn't start that way. You have this burning desire that you just want to do this. And, and it starts with, I think for all of us, pretty much all of us, it starts with, it was all about me. Because for those of you who know me, and I was very sick, I needed help, I had prayed, God showed me the oils, and I got better. And it, it took about six months for me to get the knowing that, you know, this stuff really, really works. And I think that's the main reason that people even come on these calls is because they know that this stuff works. And so you almost feel compelled. I have got to tell people about this stuff. You can't help but tell people about this stuff because it's working so incredibly well for you. So like you, Sandy, my why changed. And I, number one, did not want to work for anybody either. And I was, um, I was in corporate America. I worked for the government, actually. Uh, I was a government contractor. And there's a couple of people I'm going to mute because I'm getting some background. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. I heard the, the scraping. Okay. So um, I didn't want to work for anybody else. And I literally asked my husband, Kenneth, do you think that I could do this as a business? And he said, sweetheart, you can put anything you put your mind to. So just like that quote that we read in the beginning, if you doubt something, doubt your limits. He gave me the impetus, the, the go ahead, the it's, it's okay, let's open the door, walk through, you can do this. And, and I think that everyone starts out similarly in that you question yourself whether or not this business is for you. 
And maybe if you haven't had some good mentoring and maybe if you haven't had some good support, I had great support from my husband. You know, Sandy had great support from Verna. Um, Dana, you must have had great support. Oh, my husband was um, my biggest supporter and helped me on my mission because it was just as important to him because he was the one that had all the pain, right? Yeah, so he was encouraging you. You know, if it works for me, honey, you need to tell people about this. So, so, so our why begins to change. And our why begins to change, especially once we start going through personal development. And we're going to hit that in a little bit. But I want you to look at this, these pictures. These pictures. You see how big Dana's smile is? Dana, what's happening here? This is at Silver Retreat in um, Spokane, Washington, St. Marie's, Idaho. Um, at whenever they honored us for getting the rank as silver. And Christina was there with me. She was kind of a, um, she kind of, I don't know, what do you call that? Wedding I was crasher? A party crasher. <laughs> I was, I was a, 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 sil a silver retreat bomber. <laughs> it was fun, but um, I was, it was like being treated like a royalty, you know, because we had attained this rank and they sent us out here on a trip, paid for our airfare, paid for our food and wined and dined us gifts and got to go to the farm and sit in the hot tub at the farm full of floral water. If you've never done that, you have not yet lived life to its fullest. <laughs> So that's what I was doing. And I was getting my certificate of recognition at that point. And it was like, I had tried so hard and for so long to get there. And when I finally got there, it was like, whew, this is amazing. And then you went for the next drink. I did. I'm wearing my gold retreat shirt because I went to the same place for gold retreat. Usually it's at a different place, but we have too many people. So they had to, gold retreat is at the same place now. So it was really, and I, the retreats, I tell you, it is not about, the recognition it's not about the food it's not about the gifts it's not about the farms it's about the friends that you make people with common experiences that you get to know because i met christina on a trip uh, christina and i were in europe and mediterranean um turkey greece um and it, it wasn't that exotic trip and that beautiful cruise ship we were on it was the fact that we connected and bonded and we had shared experiences and we would have common thoughts about how things should be and could be better and so now we are collaborating to make things better and helping people to see how things can be better for them in their life and that's what the retreats are about it really doesn't have anything to do with me getting a certificate or having great food or wearing a fancy dress it is meeting people and at gold retreat i met deb jensen from wisconsin and i'm telling you this woman is like, I, she's such a good friend. My, I was hurt. I hurt myself. And she's like, get in your car and drive up here right now. <laughs> so I'm telling you, the people that you meet at the retreats are amazing. So I kind of went off on that, but. <laughs> so no, thank you for that, Dana. So when we, when Dana asked the question, why do I want to do this? One of the reasons that we, the three of us want to do this is because we love the people. Sandy, what is going on in this picture? This is so fun. This was one of my highlights of my young living career. You see me right here in a swimming pool in a in a hot. It's it's uh, one of those hot springs in the Yukon, and it was 30 below that day. And we were at the Northern Lights Black Spruce Distillery, and it and we took a day trip to this hot spring. Again, this is. Um, to my dear mentors and friends, Verna and Jane Claire. And one of the, one part of my why is I want to travel and Young Living has offered and been such a great partner for me to be able to travel the world. I've been to France. I've been to the, the Yukon, to uh, Fort Nelson, British Columbia. I'm, I'm soon going to be going down to Ecuador. I've been to Idaho and to Utah several times. I've been to, well, to both of our farms in Idaho. And I just absolutely love to travel. So this was such a great experience for me. And what it really does, again, it seems like it's about me, 
But what I dreamt about the whole time is I would love my team members to be able to join me at these retreats because Young Living just loves on us. They pay for everything. Now, this trip I actually paid for because it wasn't um, a diamond retreat or a gold retreat, but it was definitely reduced prices. They get a, they find a great way for you to stay for little or nothing at a lodge. Um, we cooked our own food and the, the cost of this trip was minimal. And it was so much fun. We met people from all over the world at this retreat and we got to learn about how, and we actually worked on the Black Spruce Farm. We learned how and why Young Living is the only company to get your oils from. So again, this is just part of my why is not only to be able to travel the world, but to bring my leaders along with me. That is such a part of my dream now is I want my silver, I want silvers and gold leaders under me to come with me and let's, let's lock arms and do this together. And I feel the try. very same way, Sandy. I feel the very same way. In this, um, in this picture of me, you see me on the right-hand side. You can tell my long hair. That's how I wear it most of the time. It's just easy. Um, I'm in the cooker at uh, Highland Flats. And unfortunately, Gail wasn't with me in this picture. This was a year that um, she didn't show up. Gail is usually on, on our classes, and she's here tonight. But this... This is my, one of my whys. Why do I want to do living, Young Living? Because I want to be with the people, just like Dana and Sandy have, have mentioned. You know, I, what would I do with eight cars? You know, sometimes when multi-level marketing companies talk about, you know, well, if you make, you know, you can make uh, $300,000 a month. Well, you can do that in Young Living. You, we looked at the uh, income potential but but if you're it depends on where your heart is and maybe you need a new house maybe you want a bigger house maybe you need a new car there's nothing wrong with that but i think that young living is so different it speaks to each other you know they've said it so well during convention that we are all connected we are all one we are truly a family and we want to be with you and we want to be together. And that is part of our why. So I want to talk to you a little bit right now about how. So you have to find, when Dana introduced those questions, why is this interesting to you? Why is this going to help you? Why is this important to you? When Dana asks those questions, you have to determine what it is, the reason that you want to do this, that you want to do this business, because this has to be a desire. It has to be that thing that when you jump out of the bed in the morning, it is the first thing on your mind. Your dreams, your wishes, your desires, those goals, you need to fix them in your mind every morning when you wake up. And you need to think about them every night before you go to bed. You need to write them down. You need to visualize them. And this is part of what we have learned in professional development. We want to help walk you through this very same process. But number one, you have to be committed to it. You have to, your why has to be so strong that you say, Christina, Sandy, Dana, I'm willing to do whatever you tell me to do. I'm willing to do, I'm willing to write down my goal and to write it out in detail. I'm willing to read it every night before I go to bed. When you do this, okay, I'm hearing some kids now. I don't know if... Oh. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to find you and mute you. Okay. I guess you did it. Thank you. Okay. So, so the, by doing what we teach you every Thursday night, and then I'm going to offer you something else uh, as well as we go along. But if you commit to being taught, this will attract to you the forces, the people, the circumstances 
of life, which will bring you, bring to you the very thing that you desire. I am here to tell you that this is not nonsense, that this actually works. That if you get your mind right, you will get everything else right. If you want bliss in your life, you can have bliss. A burning desire, it's actually an obsession for me. And I know my people know me. They hear me every Tuesday night. They know I'm obsessed with this stuff. They know how passionate it is. And I know I've had many, many people say to me, how is it that you are so passionate? I love your exuberance and your passion. It's because all I want is to help other people so that we can be together at retreats, so that we can go on the diamond trips together, so that I can have you over to my house. I, you can fly in and, and we can have a big party. People mean a lot to me. And I know they do to Sandy and Dana as well. And, I, and they may mean a lot to you. Or maybe, like I said, you need a new house or, you know, choose today. Choose today to create those goals, to create those plans, to overcome your fear of this business. Fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real. And over the weeks and over the months, we're going to teach you how to get a grip on that, how to banish fear, how to step through what we call the terror barrier and become more of who God wanted you to be, wants you to be. We don't live up to our potential, folks. You know, there's a couple of sayings. One of them is 2% of the people think. 3% of the people think they think, and 95% of the people would rather die than think. I want to talk to you. We want to talk to you over these next weeks to teach you how to think, how to create plans, to step out into, the wor into a world of your own making. Other statistics state, say, state that we only use 5% of our mind, or maybe 6%, 10% maximum. We can teach you ways to develop your mind more. I want you to choose today. I want you to want more than anything else, whatever, what that why is. I want you to write it down. I want you to commit it to memory. I want you to feed it with feelings and emotion. My number one goal, my number one goal is to become a Royal Crown Diamond in Young Living. I committed it to memory. I say it every day. I say, I am so happy and grateful now that I am a Royal Crown Diamond making six figures a month with Young Living because I will be the Royal Crown Diamond. And right now I'm emotionally living what it's like to be a Royal Crown Diamond. And that's what you have to do. You will obtain what you desire. There's some calming oil that, you know, I need when I give presentations like this and when you think about what it is that your goal is and what you're wanting from Young Living, why you want to do this as a business, when you sit down and you start to write out your why, breathe in some of these oils. I just made a quick list. There's a couple of oils that um, aren't on here that should be because there are two oils that I needed to breathe tonight before I came on. One of them was Valor. Sandy mentioned Valor. Another oil was Grounding. And Sandy, you had an oil that you were using. Northern Lights Black Spruce. That helped calm her. And Dana, what was yours? One Heart. Oh, she's flaunting her new One Heart. <laughs> yes. So 
Go, Dana, go. <laughs> You, you have to tell the people what One Heart is because most people, if they didn't go to convention, they don't know what it is. Well, it's a brand new blend that Young Living just came out with and they priority mailed my order to me, so I got it already, but it's, it's to help um, unify, help show how we're all more the same than we're different. Um, and, and I didn't read any of the literature that came with it, but that's how I really feel like this is working for me in that way. Like I feel more connected to the people that I'm encountering during the day when I wear it. And that is super exciting. So this is the point. Bring out your oils. Frankincense is definitely on here. Anoint your head with frankincense. Spend some time in quietness and determine what it is you want from this business because if you don't know your why you won't be successful in this business if you don't create a dream if you don't have a vision if you if you don't have a goal for where you want to go a trajectory a path to to begin journeying on you'll never get there it's like the plane that leaves from new york and is going to la if he did not have some kind of GPS, he'd never get there. You've got to know where you're going. It's really important. Another thing that's very, very important is that we need to fall in love with this product. And I know that the three of us are so totally immersed in the Young Living Lifestyle, so totally immersed in what it has done for us and for our family members. You must be a product of the product. You cannot talk about grounding if you've never used it. You cannot talk about forgiveness if you've never used it. If you're not doing a smoothie every day, you can't talk about the protein. If you're not taking the supplements, if you're not taking sulfurzyme for, you know, arthritic pain, you can't help somebody else with arthritic pain. Because you haven't experienced it. You must be a product of the product. So now we've got two major things going on here. Know why you want to do this in the first place. Create that dream, create that goal and that vision and use your product. It's that simple. It's that simple. Once you fall in love with that product and you know where you're going, there are only three things that you need to do. You need to educate yourself and the people that you share it with. You need to enroll them and you need to empower them. And I'm going to give you a short story about what happened this morning. So there was a guy that needed to drop off some screens and he came into my garage and he, he asked me where I wanted them. And I told him to set them up next to these cabinets. And he said, my hand hurts so bad. He said, I got stung by a bee yesterday. And I looked at his hand and his hand was just swollen. He said, it's so sore, I can't grasp anything with it. And I said to him, now I'm gonna caveat this story by saying you need to be in the vibrational frequency of knowing that this is what you're supposed to do. This eradicates fear. And we're gonna talk more about this as the weeks go by. But I said, oh, I've got something for you. Let me run in the house. Now, anybody else would have said purification for bee stings, copaiba for bee stings. There's like four or five different oils you could use for bee stings, right? But I had some muscle rub, some CBD muscle rub on my counter and I ran in and I grabbed it real quick and I thought, you know, what the heck? And I put muscle rub on his hand. I put muscle rub on his hand. He said, I want some of that. He said, do you have any here? And I said, no, I don't. He said, here's my credit card, send it to me. He said, and oh, by the way, I want some, uh, your husband was telling me that you have nutritional items. Is that right? And I, he, and I said, yes, we do. He said. I want some information on that, um, on that protein. I want to start making a smoothie in the morning. And I was like, okay, okay. I said, I'm not going to order this CBD for you right now because what I would like you to do, I, I sent him a text 
uh, on teaching him about the kits and I want you to get it at wholesale. So I gave him a quick, and I'm gonna work with him over the next couple of days. And I, he's probably gonna get a CBD kit and you know some, some protein to start with. But I am going to focus on giving him the support and the training and the understanding and the learning that he needs. That's that number one, that's that in education. I need to educate him. I could very easily just, you know, want the sale so bad because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it, that I'll go in and I'll take his credit card and I'll buy a, a retail priced CBD. Is that really taking care of somebody? No, not when they can get it at 24% below retail. This is the thing. This is the heart that you want to understand as we go through this training. Always give of yourself in the spirit of harmony, love, and cooperation. Do not talk to somebody about the oils if all you're looking for is a sale. I don't like to be sold. I'm just telling you. Dana, do you like to be sold? No, not. I, I don't want to be pushed into something that I don't really want. It feels awkward. You don't want to be pushed. Now, some people call what we do sales techniques. I don't care what you call it. I call it sharing. The bottom line is your friendship and your caring attitude it is, is what is going to draw the people that are already ready for what you have to offer. When you get your mind right, when you get your spirit right, when you are in harmony, love, and cooperation, and the number one thing you want to do when that person comes in your garage is to help them, you will have a sale, if that's what you want to call it. Now, Dana covered this income potential thing. Um, do we need to elaborate any more on this, ladies? I just think that if you look at that, it is not hard to be a star and to look at that $261. Oh, that's an annual income. Um, so for a lot of people, two or $300 a month would be life changing. And so you're looking at being an executive and earning an extra two or three hundred dollars a month, and you know that would be a could be a car payment. Uh, it could be you know your insurance, your phone bills, uh, phone. You know, there's a lot of things that that could cover. That could be the difference between you being able to take your kids on vacation or not. And that doesn't require a lot of effort. It's just consistent showing up. And we will show you how, but look at this with, look at this like it's a shopping list. What are you going to order? What are you willing to commit to? Okay, Sandy, this is, this is your baby. Take it away. Okay. Uh, if you have a phone out there, take a picture of what this oil will bring forth with you. Cause this is pretty profound. Envision stimulates creativity and resourcefulness. It encourages renewed faith in the future and the ability to maintain emotional fortitude, which is necessary when you're building your own business. Because there'll be times that you will question yourself. You need, you need an oil to uplift you and give you strength to move forward. So there's a variety of reasons that you want to have this oil. It's right. I, I went ahead and I got it out of my, my stash in vision. One of the first oils in here, guess what it is? My favorite oil, Northern Lights Black Spurs. Mm -hmm. So it really, I know it really made sense to me why I was drawn to this tonight because I'm here to talk to you about Envision and we're going to get into, into some a little, maybe a little bit of homework for you tonight. Um, Envision helps you to awaken and renew that drive to overcome fear. Renew that drive to overcome fear and begin experiencing new rewarding dimensions. So take a picture of this and read it to yourself. And 
maybe it might be an oil you want to put on your next on your next order so i decided that it was important that we actually had a little worksheet to work on tonight because i think it's really important that you write down your big dream and those th this is something that christina and dana and i have learned to be extremely profound and truly helps us to move forward is to write down our big dream and you need to start out your big dream by saying i am so happy and grateful that i am now and for me i am now a diamond making over twenty five thousand dollars a month my my dream down the road might be and, and my big dream might be royal crown but for right now it's to be a diamond and that's two steps above where i'm at right now so i've got a ways to go but you know what i'm feeling like i'm already there i feel like a diamond and when you feel like a diamond it's going to bring somewhere in time and space in some realm i'm a diamond right now this minute i'm a diamond and i'm making twenty five thousand dollars a month and you know what that's life-changing for me for anybody out there can you imagine twenty five thousand dollars a month and it's totally doable so i have prepared a worksheet and christina um do it, how are they going to be able to access this can you explain that it's in the chat i think okay it's in the chat well, i want I, every I single one of you if you don't have it um text christina or i or dana and we will send it to you because it's important that you print this out and actually write down your big dream who 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 put it in the chat dana did you put it oh nobody put it in the chat i'll take care of it okay so she's gonna put it okay in the chat. so what's on this and i want to go through this with you so you're going to need some help jogging your memory as to what what you truly want in life because sometimes you need to think about this and that's why we're going to give you a week till next thursday you need to be thinking about what is your big dream and here and what are you experiencing right now on a scale of one to ten and it's going to help you point toward your big dream and here's here's questions you need to ask ask yourself between one and ten I am not stressed about finances. So between one and 10, write that for yourself. I'm yeah. not stressed about finances. Here's a picture one, of it. Oh, perfect. One being false on the low end, 10 being I am extremely stressed about finances. Number two, I'm debt free. If you're debt free, you're a 10. If you're not and you're way in debt, you're probably a two or a three. I have plenty of money in savings. Yes or no? Rate yourself. I feel financially prepared for the future. Yes, no, maybe. I have the experiences I want. Travel, education, self-improvement, lifestyle. Do you have, the, where are you in the realm of that? That you have experienced, you're having experiences that you truly want to have. I am living my dream. On a scale of one to 10, where are you? I feel inspired and fulfilled in doing what I do. I have to tell you, I'm a 10 on that. I am so inspired and fulfilled doing what I'm doing. I spend as much time as I want with those I care about. That's a really important question, folks. Are you spending time with the people you care about? Where are you on that? One to 10. Rate yourself. I am making a difference. Are you making a difference in this world? Service, charities, giving back. Those are truly the things that open your heart and truly give back to you in ways that you have no idea. So rate that one to 10. Everybody's going to be someplace different on that scale. So then there's a place on here for you to write things about yourself, things that make me me. 
You need to write down your strengths, your, your gifts. Everybody has special gifts. And those are the gifts that are going to come forward when you're, as you're sharing with people. What are the things that make you you? My path leads to silver. My path leads to France. My path leads to Royal Crown Diamond. Or maybe my path just maybe leads to Senior Star. Any way you put it. You need to write it down. What does your path lead you to? Okay, what are gonna be some of your potential roadblocks in this? Time. Write down your roadblocks. So you, uh, maybe fear. Do you have, what are you fearful of? Getting on video? I'm going through that one myself right now. So what are your potential roadblocks? You need to write these things down, folks, because it's what's going to help you move forward. And what are your creative opportunities? What are you good at? Are you good at posting? Are you good at um, uplifting people and motivating people? What are your creative opportunities? Maybe you are great at doing blogs or you are great at doing presentations or even creating a presentation. What are your creative opportunities? And then the, what are the daily activities to get me there? So when you talk about activities, you need to think about in terms of how much time a day, how much time every day can you devote to your business? And by the way, when I talk about that, this is truly something you need to take a look at, is how much time can you devote to a business. If you've already got an eight to five job and you've got a family to take care of, you're going to have minimal amount of time. So you need to be very realistic about this. Can you get up an hour early in the morning and, and make phone calls or text somebody? Or on your lunch hour, can you, which is what I did when I was working, my lunch hour was devoted to my young living business. And then when you make your goals, put a timeline behind it. Is it going to take you one month, six months, one year? Those are all realistic time frames, folks. And then after you've filled this out, these are some of your goals and some of the things that are truly gonna matter when, you come, when it comes to creating your own business. You need to make a little commitment to yourself. I, Sandy Roush, commit to my young living business for the next four years until, and then there's gonna be a, a line, you put a date on there. And then I'm going to sign my name. Why four years, you ask? That's the minimum amount of time that as a whole, as leaders, we have we found to be, you need to be consistent working your business for four years and see where you have gained. That's when you will start gaining traction is after four years. You're going to gain momentum. You're going to experience exponential growth. If you're truly working your business, and I mean truly, you got to show up. After four years, you're going to see results. And you're going to see the money. You're going to see people on your team. You are going to feel all those amazing friendships and all that amazing support you get. So that, this is a four-year commitment that you're making to yourself. After one month, I can't do this. I don't know if this is for me. Reevaluate, folks. Um, when I first got into business, into my business in the post office, I had two really great bosses. And one of my bosses told, could, could see a lot in me. He saw more in me than I saw in me. And he gave me tasks that expanded me into areas that I was fearful because I didn't feel I was, I could, I would make him proud of me. Um, but he kept telling me I need, I had the three D's and he said, that's all you need to succeed. And the three D's were a burning desire, strong dedication and immense determination. So desire, dedication and determination. And I never forgot the three Ds because 
all the way through my postal career as I advanced. And I advanced from a level five letter carrier to a level 25 manager. There was a lot of promotions in between there. And I always thanked him. Thank the people that are bringing you up, that are mentoring you, that are encouraging you and believe in you. Because that's what we're here for today, folks. We want you to believe in you. We can't build your business for you, but we can give you a lot of support and, and mental clarity and point you in the right direction for your goals. So I hope you use this worksheet. Print it out. Please write it out. Print it out, write it out. And that first goal, your big dream, you need to say that every morning and every night. I am so happy and grateful that I am now a young living diamond making over $25,000 a month. I don't need to read it. I know it's printed on my brain. I say it in the morning. I say it 20 times during the day. And I say it at night before I go to bed because I believe it. I know it. And it will happen. It will happen. So it Dana has happened. Dana has posted that in the chat. Please go to the chat and download that, that URL. Do that now so that you don't wait until the last minute. I will give you some time at the end, but if you have to go or anything, you know, that is- and, and at the end, if you have any questions about this worksheet, please ask, okay? We'll, get, we'll open it up for questions at the end if you've got any questions about this worksheet. Okay, are we back on the slide presentation? Yes, we are. Okay, so what lies before you and what lies behind you are tiny matters to compared to what lies within you. I want you to embrace that. We're not seeing that on the screen. I think that's what you were asking, I'm sorry. Yes, I was. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna stop the share. I'm going to bring the share back up. Thank you very much, Dana. What lies before you and what lies behind you are tiny matters compared to what lies within you, your human potential. And we're going to be talking about that in the weeks and months as we go along. You are so much more than you think you are. It's extremely important, however, to become coachable, to be coachable. Coachable is capable of being easily taught and trained to do something better. That's not to say that you're not good now, that you're not full of goodness, that you, that you have all these great attributes. We come here with all kinds of wonderful things about us that God gives us, but we want to grow. We want to become better. Mother Teresa said it very well. For as long as you are green, you can grow. And to be green means to be humble enough to be coachable. There are so many reasons why you should be coachable in this business. There are others who have had the same experience as us. That's one of the reasons why you should be coachable. There are other people who have had experiences and you can learn from those people. Being coachable also forms connections with others. You know, we have a mastermind and we, it's a space of trust. You, I trust that if a thought comes to Sandy, she's going to tell me and she's going to check me and, and, you know, we're going to guide and, and, and feed each other. And you have to be in an environment, if you're coachable, you have to be in an environment of trust and connect with others. It also allows us a chance to grow professionally in this business. We don't have all the answers, but collectively, we can get those answers. If we aren't working on personal development, then nothing in our business is going to flourish. I'm just going to tell you that right now. At Aldous Huxley said, experience teaches only the teachable. These are points that you really must internalize. Be coachable. Dana? Yes. So 
to me, there's nothing more important than being coachable and nothing more important than personal development. Um, I had, in the beginning, I was on a roll. When I first started doing the business, I think my first check was 600 and something dollars, you know, but I had, I had just been selling to people out of my orders and then all of a sudden decided to do the business and then was on a roll. And so I had all these low hanging fruit of these people I was selling to. I'm like, you just really need to get an account, you know? And so it was easy. Um, but that only get you so far, right? You're going to do what you know how to do. And then you're not going to know how to do anything else. And so, um, I kept trying to get to the next level and I, nothing was working. Um, and I ended up being, <laughs> I had this burning desire. Okay. But I didn't know about coaching and I didn't know how important it was. And so God put a series of opportunities into my experience that introduced me to Stacy Hall. And she had just written a book and she was at a, at a meeting that we had in Detroit. My husband and I went up there and I saw her in the intermission and I'm like, she's like, what's your goal? And I said, I want to be a silver. And she's like, you can do it. She took me by the hand. She said, you can do this. And I said, I said, I don't know how. And she's like, this book will help you. And ended up following her on social media. And she put out for somebody to, to uh, ha earn free coaching, but they had to own the book and they had to do something else. And I had done all that. And I replied and I won coaching with her. Now she's the number one best New York Times, number one best selling author before she wrote this book. And I got this coaching. It was worth $10,000. She was with me for an hour every week. And every week she would show me things about myself that I was defeating myself and lowering my energy and not focusing where I needed to focus and not using my time wisely and not respecting myself enough to create the space to do this business, even though I wanted it so bad. I was yielding to what everybody else wanted from me. And I think we do that as moms and we do that as, you know, as women in general. And it was the most profound thing. And every week I would think, oh, she's going to be proud of me this week. I've done all this. And then I'd get on my coaching call and I'd end up in tears. And it, <laughs> it was so awful. <laughs> like, I can't do anything right. But we have to have those people that are bold enough to say, this is where you can do better. I want to show you what this thing is that's going on that's blocking you because her vision was perfect of me because she had been there. She had walked it. And she could look at me and say, you can do this better. And it was amazing. And within six months of my coaching, I got to silver. And then I had the tools. And so I had the tools. And so what happened? Diligent, you know, a lot of due diligence and persistence. And I got to gold. And I'm using the same tools I learned with her, but I'm still doing personal development only on a different level and connecting with these beautiful people that help make my job so much easier because putting this on by myself would not be near as powerful. And um, so, yeah, that's, it's, it's so powerful. It's so important. And I just wanted to let you know that um, you have, it, it's really important to get with somebody you trust that's willing, that you're willing to open up to. You have to open up so that they know and then have the conversations and do the work. So, yeah. Sandy, you have some experiences with being coachable? Oh yeah, she does. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, to tell you the truth, I, I was in the corporate world when I was started using oils. And so this, I understood how it was affecting me. I, I really became more of a spiritual person using the oils and really um, understood that I had more gifts than I could possibly imagine. By, by just by using oils made me a more spiritual person, a more, um, I was more confident in myself. Um, but I knew that I couldn't grow, that I didn't really know how to grow a Young Living business or how to do a multi-level marketing company. So I needed coaching and I knew that. I knew how to run a business, how to run a corporation and how to do um, executive corporate work, but I didn't know how to um, enroll somebody or how to train them to use the oils. So thankfully I had a great support system in Don and Jane Claire and Verna Hopkins. 
And they were more than when I was ready, they were there for me. And it took me a little while to get ready. It took me about five years of using the oils and, and having my own stories. But once I was ready, they took me under their wing and I was, I've been, I went to convention even before that, before I was ready, I was going to convention because I, and I guess in the back of my mind, I always knew I was going to do this, but uh, going to convention will take years of, of um, training off your belt. It really will. You will learn so much about the, the company, about the business and about the importance of the people in this business. So I was a very coachable person, and I mean, Don and Jane will tell you that. They tell tell me to do something, and I need, you know, I was I would question is what should I do? How should I, how should I structure my team? What should I do here? They were um, they didn't tell me what to do, but they always asked me, um, and made me think about how did I want to build my business, because I did it on my terms. I really did. I did not do it like everybody else. And I'm sure Dana built her business like as, as Dana wanted to build it. The same with Christina. She didn't necessarily build her business like anybody else out there. And you'll be the same way. Your gifts are your gifts and what will take you to the next level in this business. Your people skills, though, will be your number one, your, your ability to make relationships and relate to people and tell a story are going to be your main keys to success. And so there's some thing, some basic skills and strategies that you'll learn as you, as we talk more about this. Um, but connecting with people is going to be key. Learning how to connect with people. And you know, I have to tell you, I didn't have a big circle of friends. My family's not in my downline. I think I've told you that before. I didn't have a big circle of friends. For the most part, my life was at work. My friends were at work. My employees were at work. Um, so I had to get out of the box when it came to connecting with people. And I'll, t I'll share more about that in another week. But you need to, at the bottom of your worksheet, there's going to be three more questions that you need to ask yourself. And then I want you to write down. You need to list three things that you love about yourself. What are three things that you love about yourself? That's a hard thing to do sometimes, but you really need to let your, let your guard down, relax your mind, and write down three things that you love about yourself. List two things that you wanna learn, and list one person that you can go to right now as a mentor. And I have to tell you that through my, the last eight years of me growing my business, I knew I needed coaching. And so I went to a lot of different, whenever something came up that appeared to be a coachable opportunity for me, I invested in myself. Um, first of all, I invested in going to convention because when we go to convention, we always hear business mentors talk to us. Like this, this week, it was John Acuff. He's amazing. Then we had uh, the guy, who is the guy that taught us about uh, social media? He was amazing. Um, at, our, at our convention, we've had Tony Robbins. We've had Eric Worre. We've had Bob Stevens, who is the conscious language guru. We've had Bob Proctor there. Bob Proctor, yes. We had Mel Robbins. Wayne Dyer. Wayne Dyer, yeah. we have had some amazing mentors at our convention. And you don't have to pay $2,000 to go hear them. So that is another reason going to convention is so important because it truly provides personal development opportunities for you. And it's included in your registration. So whenever you see something out there that appeals to you and is in your, there's so much free stuff out on YouTube. All of these mentors that I just mentioned have free YouTube channels out there and free videos that are so worth your while to listen to. Um, the three of us, Dana, Christina, and I have been following Bob Proctor for about a year now. And he's been um, instrumental in giving me a mindset reset. 
Also Mel Robbins also talks about mindset reset. But it's important to know that's not about what you do. It's about what you think. How hard is it to think? Some people think it's really hard. But what you think is who you are and what you're going to what where you're heading for. So you want to have positive thoughts, you want to have goal-oriented thoughts, you want to have big dream thoughts and feel how good it feels. Because all of those feelings are what the universe is waiting for. The universe is waiting for you to declare what you really, 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 really want. The universe is waiting for you to declare it. And then you need to feel how good it's gonna feel when you get it. Absolutely. As if you have it right now. Awesome. So, so that is huge part of, it's not how hard you work, it's how hard you think. You need to really get your mind in a positive reset. If you have any negative thoughts about yourself or your self-esteem, it's a clear delete. Just like you got a delete button on your computer, clear delete that and put something extremely positive in your mind and say it over and over again. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Christina, who's Dana. Uh, Dana? Oh, okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Personal development. Um, if you ask any leader in Young Living, and we will tell you that personal development is one of the biggest factors in success of business. I kind of alluded, I kind of incorporated that with the coachable part. You did. But personal, personal development is a reflection piece of being coachable. So they kind of, you can't really separate those two things, right. I don't think. Um, but know that you have the ability to achieve the object of your definite purpose in life. Therefore, demand of yourself persistent, continuous action towards its attainment and nothing less. Train your mind to think only of what you want to create, become and do, and through faith and belief in yourself, you will obtain it. Um, there's, it's all about what you think and embodying what you want. And for me, what really has helped me is to learn that whenever I'm feeling something that doesn't feel good, an emotion or whatever, that's my indication that I need to check, take a check and figure out, hey, is what's happening here in alignment with who I really am? Am I with the wrong people? People that aren't in alignment with who I am? Because all that stuff is gonna lower my energy and make everything so much harder. Um, do I have stinking thinking? You know, am I thinking that, you know, uh, I this, this part, it's, uh, my legs hurt because I'm 51 and I went for a jog and I pulled a muscle. And so my stinking thinking could have been, <laughs> it's awful to get old. Your body just won't cooperate. Cancel. That is not, that is not okay. Cancel, delete, delete. Cancel, delete. And so for me, the biggest thing is to learn through my emotional guidance system, what is true for me and what is not. And if I feel bad about it, if it feels wrong, if it feels lowering my energy, then I have to check myself and change my thoughts. And sometimes I have to speak it out loud and my morning coffee buddies call me out on it. <laughs> we do. Yeah. So there's some resources that we've listed, some of our favorites. Of course, I talked about Stacy Hall earlier. And so that She To Be by Stacy Hall. Um, the Science of Success is on there too. I will tell you that's... Sorry, but Wallace Waddles, and I am listening to that on audio audiobook right now, and it is the most I'm listening to it over and over and over again, because what he says is like embodies everything else I've learned. Does any you guys want to talk about any of the other resources? Well, I think yeah. When I look at the D. Gary Young, the World Leader in Essential Oils. I get so inspired. He is my inspiration. And I think Gary is an inspiration for many people. If you want to think about using your time wisely, think about the things that Gary accomplished in his short life. If you want to think about, you know, what is your potential, look at the, look at the potential that 
I mean, Gary was born and raised in a one room cabin with a dirt floor. By looking at his book, it inspires me. So I, I had to put that in this list. I also, we all collectively believe that Think and Grow Rich is probably one of the pillars of learning how to think so that you can grow rich. Rich monetarily, rich in, in uh, family, rich in whatever it is that that goal or desire is. And Young Living has recently developed a training. It's called RISE and it's in your virtual office. And the three of us are offering mentor, mentor training in addition to our Thursday night business calls because we, this doesn't happen overnight. You know, this is probably taking us a little bit longer than we had anticipated, but we have so much that we want to share. Learning personal development, finding your goal, being successful in this business does not happen in the blink of an eye. You need to be trained. You need to be in connection with those people who are going to empower you and help you and inspire you. Now, I can't motivate you, but I can inspire you. And so this rise, if you're interested in attending mentorship, we want to offer it to you tonight. It is on a Facebook page, Christina Campbell, space YL Rise. And all three of us are gonna be on there for mentoring. In fact, I thought about that after I'd already made the Facebook page. I could have said Chris, Dana, and Sandy. <laughs> but, I, but I didn't. So anyway, it is what it is. But anyway, so you go there, you down, you go to your virtual office, you download Rise, print it off, and you show up at that, um, join that Facebook page, and then we're going to start the mentoring on July 1st. We'll be mentoring Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. You don't have to be there at 10 a.m., but if you are, you're just going to get the added bonus of seeing us live. If you, if you work during the day and you can get on at night, then you watch the live video and you answer the questions and you do the work. This is a work of commitment. This is the first day of the rest of your life. We are here for you in any capacity that you need us to be. We, as leaders, we want you to know that we are approachable that you can call us, that you can say, you know what, I, I want to do what you want me to do what, what, and, and connect with us. We have a 915 call every morning. Dana is the host of that call and any of you are invited to come on. It's our opportunity to share our feelings and share our, our daily tasks and what did we accomplish and what do we need to accomplish? And where are we having struggles? And what do we need support on? And we have been there for each other every single day, five days a week. And you need to be on that as well. If you want to have the camaraderie and the support and the Young Living team that you've dreamed about, it's us. We're cross line, but it doesn't matter. We're your team. So that's all I have to say about personal development. Is that enough, Dana? I think so. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, so we're going to end this with health goals. Before you can help others, you must have a love of these products yourself. Notice I didn't say that you must be a, a perfect, uh, picture-perfect poster child for health and wellness and beauty. In fact, a work in progress is perfect because you're relatable, you're approachable, you're real. You're authentic, but it is important to map out your health and wellness goals and your current plan. You know, if you have a supplementation plan, if you, and, and a lot of times just getting a Zyto can help get you on a plan for the next 90 days that's going to get you, you know, kind of on the right tra trajectory when it comes to your body. See yourself, picture yourself in a healthy body. In my, we, all three of us have something called a power life script. 
And what a power life script is, is it's a picture of where we want to be or how we see ourselves. And one of the things in my goal, and I mean, I write it out in detail. I can smell it. I can taste it. I can touch it. I can feel it. I can hear it. And I see myself standing in front of a full length mirror and my body is fit and trim and my, and I'm so healthy. My eyes are twinkling and my smile fills the room. I feel good about my body. And you know, that has really been one of the reasons that I do what I do for my body. I see it already. And so I do the steps to get there. I walk five miles every day. I'm 67 years old. I don't have to do anything, but I am driven. I am driven. I have health goals. We have powerful products that are going to support the healthy maintenance of your lack active lifestyle. So also, if you want to learn more about the oils and health, I know that um, Dana has her own healthy health um, classes. And I think what we're going to do uh, next week is we're going to put other classes out there so that they have access to them, Dana, if you're willing to open them to uh, Crossline. But on Tuesday evenings, sure. I've been teaching for 10 years. It's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and this is where you learn more about how to support your health and your wellness goals. And I'm actually covering the Premium Starter Kit this next Tuesday. If you would like to be alerted to our health and our business classes, please text CLASSES to 618-228-2800. This is actually a wrap on tonight's, um, what did we call this? Uh, <laughs> what's the name of our class? The blueprint. Oh yeah, the blueprint for success. This, thank you. <laughs> this is actually a wrap on that. We want to leave you with, you know, some inspiration. So Henry Ford stated it very well. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. We want you to think you can. Any closing re remarks, Dana? Uh, this, this statement right here um, really sums it all up and, you know, it is about what you think and it's about what I think and nobody can tell you that's one thing that you have complete and total freedom over is how you think. No one can ever take that away from you and that's what's going to create your future is what you think right now because we're always on a trajectory forward. So yeah, I hope that you join us. I hope that you get involved in the RISE mentoring that we're offering. And I hope that you develop into whatever it is that you would love to be. And thanks for being on this call. And I'll pass it on to Sandy. Thanks, Dana. I just wanna, first of all, say thank you to my two dear friends, Dana and Christina, for um, all, of, all of the work that we put into loving and supporting you guys and serving you. And it is an act of love, you guys. We're, we're taking our time to um, to support you and to love you and to tell you all the things that we've experienced and and hopefully it's going to help you on your road to success because success for everybody is different. You may need, just want your oils paid for next month. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? You know, you only have to order like if, just think enroll two people, three people, and you've got your order paid for. And if you put them on essential rewards, even you get even more money. So we're going to get into how you get paid because it's an important part of this. Um, but what you think is so important. It's not about how hard you work. It's about how hard you think. So just keep remembering that. Put your thoughts in the right place. Have a mindset reset. And don't don't put any negative thoughts into your mind that you can't do that you can't do this or this is not right or I need to know more. You know everything you need to know. You have everything you need to begin now. Please fill out your worksheets for next week. Really put some thought into your big dream. Um, it's a lot of times it takes meditation to just be able to lay down, close your eyes, and envision what is your biggest dream. And it can't be too big, I promise you. 
So thank you again, everybody. Thanks for joining us and have a great evening. And if you have any questions about the worksheet, we're open to answering questions. But I think that re the recording is going to stop.